What's up guys? In this video we're going to a competition once again at the exact same location as last one and it is raining. We made it. All right, let's get inside this competition venue. This is huge. The number of people here is just literally nuts. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find a table with someone. I didn't actually film the next hour, but I went to a pop-up store by Daily Puzzles and bought a Pyraminx before walking around aimlessly until I sat by myself and unboxed the Pyraminx, which I also didn't film. But after another 20 minutes or so, I finally met up with my friend and another competitor, which led to this conversation. Who thinks yeah. C-pop is the best method? Yeah. Hang on, yeah. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Hang on. Yeah, yeah. Um, C-pop. C-pop's definitely better than Rue. ZZ's weird, but kind of cool. Petra's, it's um, old timer. After this conversation, I later met a Cuba who used the Rue method and told me how he found it annoying that everybody thought that C-pop was the better method. I immediately agreed with him and said that every method is good, which is probably a bad choice of words considering I had just said this moments ago. After that, it was time for 3x3 round 1. Let's just not talk about how I did. I think the times sort of speak for themselves. Then came 2x2 where I did a little better. It was during 2x2 that I was pranked with a classic joke in the cubing community where my cube is actually solved when the cover is taken away, meaning I can set a new world record time. Somehow, I managed to do this. And I mean, sure, the cube was fine, but the faces I pulled... Yeah, Guys, we got a bit of an audience because previously there was like this really big, really big cube tower. Oh my goodness, what has happened here? What has happened here? Happened here? Up next was Pira and my thoughts about Pira. Mm, yeah, you get the idea. That's a plus two. This Pyraminx average had been going interesting. I had a counting eight flat, counting 11, and I wanted so badly to get another seven so I could have a counting seven. But then I did this instead. We got a five. Last song came in so clutch. It actually wasn't so clutch as you can see. I hesitated so bad, but I'll take it. The next event was Skube, where I was using a Skube which I had literally bought just 15 minutes earlier. Then I went and nearly got a plus two. Then did it again, but luckily for me, the two solves were okay. The same couldn't be said for this solve, which definitely was a plus two. On my last solve, things got hectic. Are last solve, here we go. No, I mean, yes. I mean, yeah, go for it. Okay. Five seconds. I'm not actually going to bother telling you what times I got for skew because as I said so perfectly, it just wasn't worthy. Guys! Oh dear, I've got to leave. But guys, I got myself an 8 second skew so I'm like, oh what, um, I better continue this after I've gotten outside of Got a bit to pack up, including some very squashed hot cross buns. May they rest in peace. And we're back out and time to go. Day two tomorrow. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully we redeem ourselves with three by three. And yeah, we'll see what happens. Might be an idea to take off the bag. The next day. Good morning. We are currently on our way to day two. Allow me to show you how I get to the competition in this short little something second montage. Enjoy. Guys. 
I brought an umbrella. We made it, now we're just trying to warm up 3x3 three three because I'm up next in round 2. After 2x2 two two round 2 came Pyraminx round 2 and I started off with an 8.89 followed by a 12.38. Things weren't looking too good for me and then I did this. What in the world? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know my feeling right? After the 3 I got a 5.89. Followed by a 6.41, which resulted in me coming 20 seconds in Pyraminx round 2, missing finals by 2 places. And if that wasn't enough injury, I came 23rd in 2x2 two two round 2, missing the finals by 3 places. So 6x6 six six round 1 is now in progress, and we're actually just going to go and get a new 6x6 six six real quick at this pop-up store, because turns out, my 6x6 six six at home, it popped a while back, and I'm missing 2 internal pieces. So that's dodgy. We're gonna get a new one today. <laughs> you guys are now on camera. After finals of 2x2, two two, Pyraminx, Skube, and 3 Blind, the time for 3x3 three three finals had come. Um, okay, let's do this, I'm ready. <laughs> Nothing special happened in 3x3 finals. I walked away in 10th place overall at the competition, and that brings this competition vlog to a close. I had such a blast competing there and meeting new people, watching the hilarity and good humor that goes on the commuting community, sending new PRs and being inspired to keep on cubing for the foreseeable future. Congratulations to Charlie Eggins for setting a new OCR mean for 3 Blind. Dude, you're incredible. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Um, so I might overuse a word a bit. Guys, 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 guys. guys.